unbeaten in three months, a load of new signings, second in the Premier League, and our Champions League journey starts today. Strap yourselves in, it's going to be a good one. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Mighty Magpies. And you join me in, well, in fantastic form. The last time we met, it was the last game of the previous season where we secured Champions League football. And since then, it's all been green, baby. Win, 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 win. And, and a draw. The reason for this fantastic form is, well, twofold. Number one, lots of new signings. And number two, we have a new tactic yet again. Starting with our transfers is Karim Adeyemi, a fantastic wonder kid on this year's Football Manager, a left-footed striker who has pretty much everything. Rapid pace, great acceleration, lovely dribbling, and fantastic off the ball. This guy is going to be a menace moving forwards. Along with Adeyemi, we have Renan Lodi, a new left-back brought in. A slight upgrade on Zinchenko and he has been playing incredibly well. Four assists in five games so far this season. A very, very competent wing back going forwards and very, very secure defensively too. Overall, a very good fullback. Another good fullback is Sergino Dest. An absolute bargain from Barcelona. A really well rounded fullback. Can play left back or right back, so it does give us cover. But more than likely, he'll be starting on the right-hand side of defence. Now, Dani Alves has gone. There is an upgrade in Lissandro Martinez, all the way from Ajax. A fantastic centre-half, a very well-rounded player. Mental attributes are fantastic. Physicals aren't to be squashed at either. And these technicals, whilst there's a lot of room to improve, they are already fantastic. And at 24 years old, he's only going to get better. I then spent £13 million on a player who I can't play. Lorenzo Luca, undoubtedly a player with fantastic potential, but I kind of neglected the fact that he hadn't played enough games for Italy. Pressed sign anyways, and now I can't play him. He's on loan at Bayern Munich. We might see him next year. Nicolo Rovella was next through the door. A fantastically well-rounded player, 20-year-old wonder kid, first touch, passing, both of 16. A great player, and for £11 million, an absolute bargain. Another bargain was Livakovic. We needed an upgrade in goal, and Livakovic is just that guy. A very well-rounded goalkeeper, lots of international experience as well. He is going to be our goalkeeper for the next couple of years. Then we have a striker in Alexander Isaac. A striker who is going to be the cornerstone of this team moving forwards. Fantastic physicals. The Holy Trinity, 15, 14 and 15, off the ball of 17, this guy is a menace, a machine, whatever adjective you want to use, five goals in seven games, this man's going places, and he's taking Newcastle with them. Someone who's not quite as impressive as Isaac is Todd Cantwell. He was available on a free, I needed more English players, there's nothing more to add to this one. And our final signing was an 18 year old wonder kid from Brazil. Twelve and a half million pounds secured Kaiki, Kiki, Kaiki, however you want to say it. A very well-rounded defender already at 18 years old, over six foot tall, decent heading, great determination too. So hopefully he's going to become a very well-developed player, someone who can be an integral part of our defence. The new formation coupled with our new signings is of course producing fantastic results. This is the formation we're going with for this season. A 5-2-1-2 wingback tikataka possession based formation and well it is working phenomenally well. If we go back to our schedule you will see that we actually haven't lost at all this season including our friendlies and every game in the Premier League. Fantastic results all the way through. A 3-0 demolition of Aston Villa on the open day of the season. 4-1 victory over Sheffield United, a 2-1 victory over Man City, a 2-1 victory over Brighton, who I hate playing on this year's FM. They are superb. Finishing off with a 2-0 victory over Liverpool. We are in a very good position to mount a Premier League challenge. Level on points with United, and who knows, this could be our year. Our season preview has us 13-1 to to win the title. I would back ourselves at those odds, definitely. I fancy our chances. I also fancy our chances in our Champions League group. Ajax, Shakhtar and Dynamo stand in our way of qualifying. Now I honestly think this group should be a walk in the park. However, Champions League is the battle of the best teams in Europe. 
So it should be interesting to see how we fare against those teams, especially with so many transfers taking place over the last two years. And that brings me to the game today. Today we will play against Dynamo, our first Champions League game, and see how we cope against the Croatian champions. This is the team for today. Leverkovic in goal. Mikele, Kunde, Martinez make up the back three with Dest and Lodi right back and left back. Sebeos and Ravella in midfield with Musiala behind Calvert-Lewin and Isaac. A fantastic team that covers the whole pitch. We shouldn't have any worries against Dynamo, but who knows? Let's get into the game and see what happens. Our first Champions League game of the save begins at home against Dynamo. It's a fantastic place to begin our Champions League test. On paper, we are much stronger than Dynamo. And it's now a chance for us to see that as Martinez drives forward with the ball. Gets tackled and Dynamo clear. But we should pick up that second ball. Second phase of play. Let's see if we can create something from the back. It's Koundé with it. Dribbles past one. Dribbles past two. Look at him go. Pins through to Sabios. Lovely ball out wide to Dest there. Acres of space. Can he deliver across? He pulls it back to Sabios. Whips it in there. It's Calvert-Lewin. It's blocked. It's cleared. It was close. And obviously, on paper, we are much stronger than Dynamo. We have international players, world beater players pretty much in our squad now. We've built this squad really, really well. Lodi with a throw in. Rivera. Lodi picks up Rivera again. Musiala, Sabios, Rivera. Shoots from distance, pops it in the bottom corner. Bish, bash, bosh, 1-0. The Italian genius did it again. Well, has done it for the first time. He hasn't scored two yet. Hopefully he will, but who knows. Is it going to count VAR? Apparently someone was offside. It has been disallowed. Disappointing. Never mind. Rivera hasn't even done it once now. Dynamo with the ball, building out from the back. Playing with it, lovely. Great crossfield pass, but it has been intercepted by Dest. Here's Isaac. Calvert-Lewin. Martinez picks it up, Rivera's there. Lovely run out wide if we can play it out. Oh, what a pass that is. There's Sabios. What lovely football that was. That deserved a goal for sure. Half an hour in, and I'm just thinking to myself, where do we think this squad of players is going to finish in the Champions League? Do we stand a chance of winning it? I'm not sure. In the comments below, please do drop your idea about where you think we'll get up to in the Champions League. Winners, semi-finalist, knocked out in the group stage. Who knows? Let me know what you think. Half time has been and gone and it is still nil-nil. But there is an early highlight in the second half. Just encourage the team there. Is Dynamo have the ball. Building out from the back. They, are, they do seem to be quite a possession based team. Do Dynamo. Keeping the ball quite nicely. The goalkeeper loses composure a little bit there. And hoofs it up the pitch. Mukele. Kunde now. Driving forward. There's Musiala. Isaac. Sebeos. These players are fantastic. You know, such upgrades on what we started with. There's Calvaloon. He's hit the post. That's unlucky. That's unlucky. Dest with the throw in. Sebeos. Dest whips it in, but it's blocked. And Kyunde is going to pick up the clearance. Deflection. Whatever that was. Martinez. Rivea. Lodi now. On a yellow card. So that might be worth monitoring. Whips it in. There's Isaac. We finally got a goal. Alexander Isaac with the header in off the upright. It's 1-0. Happy days. A great start to the second half. As we see the replay there, Lodi does well to dribble down the wing. He's going to whip in a lovely cross. And there's Isaac beating his man. Goalkeeper probably should have done better. But who cares? We're 1-0 up. When you look at this squad and think back to where we started just, what, two seasons ago? One season ago? This team is phenomenal compared to what we started with. But it might not be phenomenal. Oh, it is phenomenal enough. What a tackle that is by Kunde. But just look at the players we have. The upgrade in every position is fantastic. As Dest runs down the wing now. Got a lot of space to deliver across. There's Isaac again, but loses out. And Dynamo will pick it up. But Ravella intercepts. There's Calvert Lewin. A lovely little back heel there. Musiala, Sebeos, Isaac. We are playing lovely football in this game. Here's Dest now. Crosses it in. Calvert Lewin. 2 0. This is what I'm talking about. What lovely football that was. Scintillating stuff. We'll see it in the replay as well. Lovely, lovely one-two touch football there. Passing the ball beautifully. Dest sees the man in the middle. Smashes it in. Calvert-Lewin's not going to miss from there. It's 2-0. Coming up to 60 minutes. We are going to make a change. Musiala is not really playing very well. So I'm going to take him off and give someone else a chance. We're going to bring on Deli Ali for Musiala. 
give him a run out in attacking midfield, see what he can do. We're also going to bring on Adeyemi for Isaac, just to rest the two main strikers, really. We have a long season ahead of us. We are playing fantastic football, but we're down at 36% possession. What is going on? We need to control the ball a bit more. For that, we're going to go balanced, just to try and draw them out a little bit. We're also going to change our instructions just to bring the tempo a little bit slower, just so we can keep a hold of the ball a bit better. We don't want to be rushing our passes and giving the ball away. But you know what? 10, 13 minutes, we have a throw in now. It's Martinez with it. Lordy. Look at this overlapping run by Martinez there. Centre back, you know, wide centre back. What a cross that is. It should be three it is. Addy Amy, get in there. Scores in the rebound. Fantastic. I can't get over how advanced these wide centre backs get these days. It's a great addition to FM22. Look at this guy. He's a centre half and he's all the way down here at the byline. Great cross. Great header. Hit the post, but Addy Amy was there. Tapped it in, 3-0. Lordy with a throw in. Is there room for one more goal? Martinez, Calvert-Lewin, Deli Ali, Martinez, Deli Ali, Adeyemi. What beautiful football that is. My God, this team is playing some beautiful stuff. Goal of the series, perhaps? I think it might just be, you know. Look at this passing. Martinez, Calvert-Lewin, Deli Ali, Martinez, Ali, Adeyemi. One touch. Beautiful, total football. Just incredible. What a goal that is. And that beautiful goal sees out what is quite a beautiful game. A 4 0 victory, and everyone played remarkably well. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very excited about where this team is going, and I can't wait to fire through this season. With that being said, as of right now, it is the 1st of November, and of course, the full version of the game comes out on the 9th. That means I've only got a week to get through this whole season and get a video out. Now it's Wednesday today, which means there's only one more day for a video, which is Friday, before the full version of the game comes out next week. So even though it is unorthodox, I'm gonna play this entire season, and on Friday, you will get a review of how we've done, and hopefully see what we've won. If by some miracle we are in the Champions League final, that is what we will play on Friday. Or any cup final, really. <laughs> I don't want to pin my hopes on the Champions League because we might not get there. Anyways, that will do for today's episode. But if you have liked the video, please do drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Is the quadruple on? I mean, it might be, right?